Hi Collective, welcome to my channel. I'm Crystal and I'm a psychic medium here delivering messages from the higher realms for all of you, whoever's guided to my channel. So let's see what is going on currently with the current energies and movements within the cosmos. That's why I say if you're not subscribed to my channel, you should be. It's more fun to catch my readings in real time as I always let you know what we're connecting with. So this is actually like my Valentine's Day special. Okay, and I got pushed to doing it today, but what's interesting is because I'm going to be talking about the conjunction that we're really feeling strongly from the 14th and the 15th of February, and I felt that I had to get my Black Moon Lilith reading out that I did yesterday, um, so you should take a look at that one. Um, down below on this channel if you have not, because these are, it's really this energy that, that's, um, leading us up to what is going on currently because everybody has got a black moon lilith within their birth chart it's really like your darkest and deepest desires and it would make sense that it's going in alignment with this beautiful energy that we're feeling of valentine's day right okay so because it has to do with woundings being released too, with Chiron conjuncting our North Node, but I'm not going to get too much into that. I'm going to have separate readings for each of those if you want to know more. But see, so on the 14th and 15th, we have Mars conjuncting Pluto, right? Pluto's the ruler of the underworld, right? So, and as Mars, the god of war, when it's aligning with Pluto, it ignites the themes of death, rebirth, and personal empowerment. This rare alignment occurs approximately every two years, and it's powerful catalyst that urges us to confront our deepest fears and desires. It also prompts us to seek closure and resolution from the themes that began around February 3rd of 22. The last meeting of these two planets coinciding with Valentine's Day is really... The alignment stirs intense emotions and energies, and it's fueling our determination to pursue our desires while remaining, reminding us to be cautious. It sparks magnetic connections and also holds the potential for vile, for validity, vile, yeah, <laughs> and tension. Right. So, hidden truths could be getting uncovered. Reflection, authenticity, accountability, closure, emotional depths, evolution. Renewal and rebirth, magnetism, empowerment, and rising from the ashes. So that is all that's coming out with this, um, with this energy, right? So you could be noticing too. You could be seeing phoenixes or seeing that that um, that symbol, that bird a lot. There could be, as I know, I've been been seeing a lot of it. Right? There's definitely a rebirth for a lot of you. This could be you know something emerging from within where you're igniting that passion to really like give something another chance right and being with valentine's day the feeling of love in the air and all of that really gets you know a lot of us in our emotions and feelings maybe thinking about lovers or past lovers or, or whatever that may be so all right so i'm interested to see um getting into tarot what's going on but because it's my valentine's day special i've got some fun cards that I'm going to pull. See, I was trying to see who the creator was. I got these off Etsy. But these are really cute. I'm feeling the pink and the candies. So I'm going to pull some fun cards to go off of the energies. Hopefully you can see them. Look, crazy sexy love is on the bottom. <laughs> and surprises with the sprinkles there. Right? So I always pay attention to, like, what the main um, card is when I pull the decks before I even shuffle. And I felt to do my Power of Love card, so we'll get a few cards, I'll get into the reading, and then I will pull some more. Right, so collectively, take whatever you feel is for you, because especially when I get into those decks, it can be picking on multiple storylines. But You know, it's just like, you know when you get a feeling when you're on like a social media platform, like somebody likes your photo and you get that ping or your post or whatever, you get that little... Um, hit of like a dopamine that's really what it does that's kind of in a way like what your intuition does when you know something is for you you feel it it resonates with you like you know you feel it right i don't know why i felt to explain that maybe for some of you you don't know how to know what's for you what's not especially if you are part of my collective that watch me daily right because the more you watch me the more i feel your energy and the more you connect with me too liking the videos commenting even if you're just sending emojis, I love all that stuff too, right? And time is very much non-linear, right? So know that. 
right? So you can watch any of my readings at any time, okay? So friendliness is coming out, individuality and priorities, okay? So you are able to recognize traits in common with another in order to for, forge love-based connections. So that's the first love oracle that's coming out here. Hmm. So you could be noticing you're coming together with like-minded people and individuals. As you're raising your vibration, you are calling in higher vibrational soul friends and family too. This is the year where lives are coming in line with our soul families. Individuality, you leave your unique stamp on love on everything that you do. So that's very beautiful. So definitely embrace that individuality. And that's what a lot of us are learning too. They're telling you that for a lot of you, it's like, I don't know if you didn't know that you were good enough or, you know, this really goes in alignment with this Black Moon Lilith because it's really expressing that your deepest desires and the things that you may have kept hidden. And see, when you're, when you're hiding your deepest desires and you're not pursuing what you truly want then how can the universe you know bring you bring you that bring you that in, in another because it's all about how you attract relationships is your energetic frequency that's why if you're not ready for love yet you're ready for a karmic lover because you have some sort of lesson that you need to learn you're going to attract somebody you're going to bond with somebody you're going to trauma bond i'm hearing with somebody with the same trauma where you're both supposed to heal that from one another by being a mirror and showing Person, it's like if you have an insecurity, your person that you're in relationship was going to have the same insecurity, but then you're going to see it, and then by seeing it, it gets you know it's reflecting, but then it shows you. And when you learn the lesson, it's because you see it, and that's why people can get caught up so much in that reflection, in that mirror, and think that that's their twin and things like that. But I'm not going to get into that <laughs> too much. But um, these karmic relationships are very much they're meant to heal you, to show you. That's why you attract things at an energetic frequency. And the more that you raise your vibration, and the more that you you heal yourself, then <laughs> you go to the next level. That's why you have multiple different soulmates and lovers and things like that. And you can stay in a relationship if, with the karmic if you guys clear the karma. If that's the vibration that you wanna stay at, stop with the chair. Then you can heal that and you can, you can be, that's what I mean, like karmics aren't always bad. It's just, you have a karmic lesson you're supposed to heal with each other. And for a lot of you, they are past life lovers. That's why you have that connection. And for a lot of you, it's like, in a previous life, like you were together, you were lovers, but in this lifetime, you were going to help each other overcome something. Maybe you want to overcome something and carry on your love connection, right? Or maybe you just wanted them to teach you the lesson and you wanted to get another lover. Because for some, it's like if somebody treated you very badly in another past life, but in this lifetime, it's like their karma is to make it up for you. And, they're, and, and maybe in this lifetime, like they're a narcissist. So maybe you're an empath, but the empaths need to attract that narcissistic paradigm to teach the empath to love themselves and to have self-love and self-worth. So maybe in this lifetime, they're going to be narcissistic and it's going to level you up and you're ultimately going to leave them and get your true love's desire. And that's going to be their karma for them to see it. But it's really going off of how they treated you in a past life, right? <laughs> if that didn't make sense to you, it's not your story, but it's for somebody. That's one scenario that I'm getting here. That's why it's really important, like, even though you may have a strong bond and a connection and a tie, yeah, it's because you've known each other before. That's why you may be able to finish each other's sentences, know what each other like, things like that. You have a bond like no other. That's because you recognize past life lovers. You feel very comfortable with them. And that's why they can get very, you know, tied up with twin flames and mirroring lovers. But this is really about attracting lovers that are going to be at your same energetic frequency right so i really feel that that is what's happening that's why it's really important for you to be your true authentic self and that's why when you truly balance out your light and your dark your you learn to embrace the shadow sides you go through that dark night of the souls when you're really activating that black moon lilith within right your deepest desires and passions now the universe can attract you something that is going to match that energetic frequency because you're truly in that authentic energy right wow very beautiful so Priorities are showing me purpose too. You possess the determination and dedication to consciously demonstrate, yeah, demonstrate love. So really being your authentic self, whatever that may be, not living life for another. That's why you truly unlock all of these things when you reach your whole, your level of awesomeness, right? When you're untouchable, when you're living life for you and you're not living it for other people, you're not letting other people's emotionals bring or other people's feelings, other people's actions their words affect your emotional your emotional state 
it's like where you know that if somebody's not treating you right, things like that, you can walk away. You know the words don't hurt you, things like that. You know yourself worth. You know when you don't feel comfortable in somebody's energy, you distance yourself. You, that's part of self-love. You create healthy boundaries. You walk away. You don't stay there and endure it. For a lot of you, you needed to learn that. And then this year of an eight is when you're really going to feel that empowerment, that, stir, that that getting that strength and courage to really stand up for yourself and create healthy boundaries. Being in this year of an eight, it's infinity, strength, eight in, in, in the tarot, right? Which is that lion energy. So they're showing me, okay, priorities, right? So you understand the paramount importance of manifest, manifesting love in all situations, right? So even these people that you know, are just literally mirrors to show you are meant to trigger things within you. Because anybody that triggers something within you, it's showing you something that you need to heal. Because we are all one, right? And you're attracting that polarity, that person for a reason, right? So it's up to you to determine what is this showing me right now? So it's like if somebody's coming at you, why are they coming at you? What are they triggering within you? What are, what are they saying? What are they? Just release it with love and, and take that as, all right, well, that hurt a little bit when that person was criticizing this. Or how do, how do you flip it to empower it? It's like if somebody's coming at you maybe about the clothes that you wear and things like that. Like, why, why are they coming at you? Does that mean that you're insecure about the clothes that you wear for that to trigger you? Like, why is that bothering you? You know, or it's simply, <laughs> I don't know why I'm fumbling my words so much. I don't know why, or it could be maybe that it's just supposed to empower you, you know, like um, it's teaching you to have control of your emotions and feelings for you to keep on being more authentic. Because a lot of times people will come at you and make comments at certain things because they're jealous, because you are shining so brightly, you're irritating their demons, but then it's really triggering something for them and on a higher level, you know, like it's meant for you guys to align because you, you're doing both healing and things like that. So, all right. I need to put this deck down. All right. So that was a couple of power of the love channel messages that were coming through. I feel to pull some self-care love. I'm feeling very much this purple energy and purple is very spiritual. Um, the highest, it's the highest vibrational color, right? All right. Just a second. All right. Sorry about that. All right. So 1222 is on the clock as I pause that. Whenever I get like major interruptions and I do have to click off my video, I pay attention to the times because it's universal code numbers. So there is something about that and about the alignments of the 222 frequency because we are February 2nd through the 22nd. So know that, that there's something very significant. You need to look up those twos. I feel that's why this is going to be very, very powerful for you guys. Um, this is a time of major awakening activations. Um, you're going to be realizing talent, skills, and abilities that you need to embrace at this time. Look, I'm look, I'm holding the card of sing up right here. For a lot of you, it's meant for you to go after some sort of talent within singing, right? Singing is also very, very healing because there's this, there's this big closing out of a wounding that's been there since childhood and by closing out this wounding it's going to activate your highest potential it's activating your black and lilith but it's like you have to um get rid of some sort of wounding first right but for some of you like there's something about singing maybe somebody told you you weren't pretty enough you weren't good enough you weren't you're the age right because our 3d matrix right likes to put certain ages on it and certain looks and things like that if america's got talent hasn't showed otherwise you could be any age any style any anything right so it, this is really a time about really showing up breaking the norms you know that's when everybody's really shining being being in their true authentic self right they're showing me sweet treats here and cupcakes. It's very beautiful as I'm feeling this very um, sweet energy, right? And candies and things like that. Oh my gosh. Okay, oh my goodness. All right, I've got some stuff to take care of. 1404 was the second interruption. Hopefully this reading updates. <laughs> I'm going to do it anyways. If it glitches off, the audio and the video sometimes don't sync together when there's multiple times I've got to stop recording okay but it's all significant for a reason so this um this 222 frequency is very very significant for major healings because it's around i think it's around the middle of february that chiron is conjuncting our north node which is your destiny and chiron is the wounded healer and doesn't often do that so when this chiron is conjuncting the north node it's basically like setting you free from karmic patterns patterns cycles loops deep 
deep traumas that have been buried for a long time. It's like they're coming to the surface for you to be able to heal. Maddie, I said no. Okay. My little girl playing with little toys. Okay. Oh my goodness. They're showing sex here. <laughs> There's definitely going to be healing that's going on through sex, right? And it's interesting, as I was reading yesterday, one of my star family members was talking about how you can experience higher levels of connections through sex, right? Where maybe if you were just engaging with sex on, on physical surface, where physical surface, maybe you are on physical surface. I don't know. But maybe you need a passion. Maybe you need to spice it up and have some more fun, Okay. Um, but what I mean is that for some of you, maybe you were engaging in, in, um, in sex, um, and it was just on the physical level, like you weren't really feeling it. You were wanting to experience it on higher levels because certain woundings can have it closed off or you're only experiencing sex through your, your lower chakras, right? And that's where you know, it's more lustful. So you could really be opening up and getting vulnerable and experiencing sex on more profound levels. And that's why some of us very much can activate certain things like us. <laughs> There's some of us that very much have sexual healing because we can unlock certain chakras and frequencies. And I mean, come on now, you sleep with the goddess, you know, it's nothing like anything else. All right. So that, that's for my goddesses out there and my gods. All right. So anyway, okay. It's not a message for everybody. They're showing me drink tea, too. Drinking tea can activate and heal something for some of you. There's just, there's so much passion in the air. Some of you are being called to for a health checkup, okay? Like I said, this is the healing deck, right? So take whatever you feel is for you. I feel that there's going to be healing within a family, too. You're showing me positive affirmations, saying things very positively. Remember, don't um, don't say things in the past. Focus on the present moment right now. Saying these positive things that you want, right? They want you to meditate at this time, and they're showing alone time. They really want you to spend some time alone and meditate. That's also going to allow you to do the energy work, aligning your chakras, um, getting the healing and things like that that you need. Some of you are being called to clean your space too because your space, your home, your environment is an extension of like your auric field. So maybe you need to physically clean out certain people, certain debris, certain things. Having more space and energy around you can um, raise your vibration too. And they want you to sync with the moon. Wow, somebody's definitely supposed to be in the music business industry. They're showing me music and sing and sinking with the sinking with the moon somebody's getting this realization they have a deep passion for music right maybe spending time alone you're going to start singing you're going to start you know you know what makes you feel feel good dream journal maybe um abundance planning writing down positive affirmations gratitude lists they really and that's a, a very positive way those um I really call those visual boards or whatever that people do and writing things down it's so powerful because it's like affirming it to the universe because as you write something down you're seeing it you're writing it down you know and it, it's just it's so powerful right writing down your intentions right they're showing me numbers too 10 20 50 100 so writing down something about abundance money you know, being grateful and thankful for what you have fosters and more don't be wanting or feeling in lack right because then you're projecting that to the universe right are you sleeping? Dream journals written here. Definitely get your rest, right? Turn off those electronic devices. How can you calm the mind down to fall asleep if you are on them? I just don't understand. <laughs> right? All right. So anyways, um, connecting with crystals and movement. Definitely singing and dancing, sound healing. I could go on on with this deck. I feel like it's pulling me in too much. <laughs> All right, so those are the um, the purple frequency that I was feeling with the love cards, right? I haven't even got into the tarot yet. I'm at 19. Okay, I just feel like I'm rushed because I've gotten two distractions. I got to take care of some things, right? Um, okay, let's get a few of these fun candy cards, and then we'll get into some tarot, okay? Ooh, confessions. Ooh, I'm hearing the uh, Usher song. My baby, these are my confessions. Um, somebody could be confessing love to you. 
with the sprinkles too and these sweet treats right i'm getting somebody wants to be so sweet with you and flexibility somebody could be wanting to really have fun do different things okay hmm. maybe they want to take level for some of you to a higher level of commitment we've got a wedding cake there and commitments hmm i showed me profession Fusion. confessions came out again somebody needs to confess their love is what i'm feeling rewards and fusion yeah somebody wants to come together and blend with you scars see somebody's scars were holding them back woundings once these woundings close out mm -hmm, it's gonna set them free freedom here we got dreams and death is here but that's representing rebirth, transformation, manifestation. Mm. Look at all these sprinkles and stars. I'm getting a really, um, that color is coming across. Really rainbow, rainbow color. I'm really getting like, um, see like all the different colors there like you're really i feel activating your chakra system getting back online by doing that you are able to manifest your dreams you turn into a powerhouse yeah look yin and yang energy that's the fusion that's the blending that's the when you can blend and merge your yin and yang energy you're balanced and often for that to happen your chakra systems need to be in alignment and then when you do that it's yep see it's um <laughs> getting you back online with source and you become a powerhouse of, of rapid manifestations getting your dreams wishes money everything because money and all of that's a flow of abundance it's a frequency it's a vibration that you that you go up to they're showing me childhood here very much there's something to do with the childhood i'm getting a strong like childhood wounding for some of you maybe a childhood lover past some um, somebody from your past is coming coming in to confess something to you Okay, maybe some sort of scars or woundings were keeping them back from you. Yeah, see, they're showing me emotions. Look at the little Valentine's Day candies, <laughs> the little Valentine's Day hearts. So um, somebody is definitely ready to expose, their, <laughs> express their emotions and feelings. Wow. I'm feeling somebody is very flustered. That's the energy that I'm feeling that's mixing up my words a lot. I feel very flustered, right? All right, so I'm actually going to pull these um, cute little pink tarot cards. We'll get some get some um, channeled messages through the tarot, and then i got to go. So I'm going to be doing some other readings later. All right, still going off this frequency, okay, a Valentine's Day in Mars conjuncting Pluto, and I'm going to get into doing some different readings for um, Mars and Pluto so you can understand the influence of them more and maybe how they impact your um, your life through looking at doing a birth chart analyzer to see where the placements are within your individual charts because that can really um, really help you out a lot right as astrology it's like everything <laughs> it's you know knowing your birth chart it's the blueprint to your life you can learn all the keys secrets codes all sorts of things things they wanted hidden so we truly wouldn't turn into our true authentic self and unlock all of our power and our potential because then we wouldn't conform to this matrix right well we're here unlocking all of that for you so they're showing me the knight of cups somebody is definitely coming to express their love oh my gosh the lovers see this love frequency yep two of pentacles some of you could have a choice three of cups this is union celebration baby this there's definitely divine unions it's like what was blocking and stopping is is mm -mm. this pull of these planets that's what i mean with mars conjuncting pluto that's really that that's that passion when you're mars that that's like your energy to have you take charge of control and action you know um and people are really going to be standing up fighting for what they want. Seeing the five of wands here, I'm getting this competitive energy with two of pentacles. You could literally have two lovers or three because I'm picking up a lot on threes that are like coming after you for love, competing for you. <laughs> Maybe up to five. I just heard, oh my gosh, someone, <laughs> someone's got some real sexual healing. You got five lovers after you. That's not for everybody. I just channeled that in. Wow. Okay. Ace of pentacles. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. 
I'm feeling this love, this frustration. Yeah, there's somebody's very like sexually frustrated. Like they want you bad. I'm hearing that song. I think it's another Usher song. Something I want someone bad. <laughs> oh my gosh. The, it's this pull of this of <laughs> somebody's like really wanting to express what they want to do to you. Okay. And that's coming through so strong too. Alright, three of swords. There's this energy. Yeah, one of these lovers is somebody's either feeling heartbroken without you or somebody's going to be feeling heartbroken because there's a choice that needs to be made here. Oh, obviously, all these people that are in competition for you can't have you. You could literally be creating boundaries. You could be... <laughs> Look at that. Like... <laughs> It's one of these, like, you could be wanting to spend some time alone in your thoughts just to decide what you want. Um, four of Wands, structure, security, stability, family, right? Mm. So for some of you, maybe you need to um, spend some time alone away from family, right? There could just be a lot that's going on, right? Because with this moon card energy, you really need to be feeling your emotions and feelings. Some things are definitely going to be getting like revealed to you. They showed me six of wands. It's definitely admirization, victory, success. I feel it's where you're headed here. Um, I feel you're really being admired. I think that you went through some sort of glow up or you raised your vibration and it's like, it's attracting people from the past. It's a, just attracting like, um, that's why you're shining so bright. Um, that's why people are just like in awe, right? Um, I'm really picking up this energy. Yeah, hermit energy. They really want you to spend some time alone because it's going to allow you to um, close out whatever this is. Because sometimes you can't see everything that's going on around you. Yeah, there's a boss energy, an emperor. It came out on top of the lovers of the Nine of Cups. I'm getting for some of you, like, you're. they want you to make sure, too, that you don't get distracted by this lower vibrational stuff where people are attracted to your light and your love for healing. Because I'm talking to my healers here. You do attract people that you're meant to heal, but... You do have like an emperor here. You have a high level lover, one that's going to be equally yoked with you, that's a match to you spiritually, physically, all of that. Boss energy, but you got all of this coming in to try to mix you up because the devil likes to dispatch the devil agents to try to block that emperor, right? But this person's going to outshine everybody else. You're going to know who they are. It's like when the real one comes and shows up. <laughs> yeah, look, strength and ace of cups. Mm, this is the year. <laughs> Look at her teaming that and that lion there, right? For some of you, this is the year like you're getting married. It looks like she's in a has a veil here and a white gown. Um, Ace of Cups, but yeah, the true love, the Holy Grail, I'm hearing is here. But for some of you, it's just literally, you know, you need to not be turned off to your intuition and what you feel. Because I almost wanted to hold the deck upside down. But upright, high priestess. So that's too. Because for some of you, you're in, you're highly empathic. So you could be absorbing energies around you within your field. I can't get over to how those all look like children there. You could be having a lot of children, a lot of drama and things like that. That are affecting your um, auric field. So to be able to discern what emotions and feelings are yours. And to eliminate some of this chaotic energy to fully see what's for you. You need to spend some time alone. Yeah, High Priestess again. And you're going to be getting the clarity, the truth, the realization. I really feel Divine is trying to bring something in for you. Um, this clarity, right? Because for some of you, like, you could, um, Maddie, shh. Some of you could be feeling as though, you know, maybe you've always known that you were going to attract your lover or your true love is going to find you. Maybe you just kind of knew the game, how it worked at a higher level. So you've just been waiting, right? But you've been attracting all, you've been <laughs> having connections with relationships with people you're supposed to be there to heal and not you know and for some of you those are part of your contracts because for some of you you know you heal through sex but um <laughs> there comes a time that um you gotta cut them off and move on some people in relationships are only meant to be in your life for a season and not for the rest of your life and it looks like your forever lover for those of you on that frequency is here and you just you've got to stand guard and create those healthy boundaries so remember your sacred energy is very very powerful but you also need to protect it and not be giving it away and maybe that's what this is about too isolating this hermit energy they want you to really pull that energy back and stop giving your beautiful sexual healing away that you need to pour that into yourself at this time and to save it for the the one you're supposed to be spending the rest of your time with right 
So, um, yeah, Six of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. It's time for you to get what's fair to you and what you deserve and desire and not be giving it all away. So, all right, with that said, I got to close out this reading. Yeah, Three of Cups, a union is eminent, I'm hearing. But I got to close out this reading. If you like my style, you like my readings, definitely subscribe to the channel. I love all the comments, likes, all of that. It interacts with me, too. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, look. Ooh, we got the tower here. This is the castle in this one. Ooh. With Queen of Pentacles. Hmm, there's definitely a term. This could be going off for you, too. You could be just all of a sudden be realizing this. Um, divine could be revealing to you everything. Do <laughs> revealing secrets. There, there's this big thing with emotions. Maybe for you, some sort of... Um, wounding or something needed to close out for you to fully see something because where I, where I got mixed up before as I was going to tell you it's like if you have a wounding where you feel as though you're not good enough or for whatever reason you've got something that's blocking you until you heal that sometimes you can't feel love like you could finally be realizing that yes I've only been settling for relationships on a lustful level with lower chakras I really haven't opened up my heart to love it's just kind of like if you feel you're not lovable or that no one loves you you could be getting shown so much love by so many people but you're you're not going to see it that way or feel it because you don't love yourself first that's why it's really important to do that and I feel for a lot of you this major healing with this Chiron healing and then and there's um, now this pull of Mars, like it's really getting you. Maybe this is you where all of a sudden you're just like, yes, I, I need to go after what's fulfilling for my heart. I've got all of these passions and dreams and maybe you want to experience things and whatever it is, don't let anybody make you feel otherwise. Just be mindful, make these decisions, right? <laughs> where you're protecting your energy, but pursuing your, your heart's desire for sure. So, all right, guys, love and light to all of you. Bye.